nabiji Allah 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 la ilaha illa hu sallallahu alayka ya ya rasul allah wa sallallahu alayka ya इसी 
ना खुदा है मेरे जब मोहम्मद ना खुदा है मेरे जब मोहम्मद कैसे डूबेगा मेरा सफीना मेरे दिल में है याद मोहम्मद मेरे होठों पे जिक्र मदीना मेरे दिल में है याद मोहम्मद मैं इस तरह से हूँ यार अब तेरी सना के बगैर मैं इस तरह से हूँ यार अब तेरी सना के बगैर मैं बिच 
छाया जाता खाक हो जा तामे सरकार के कदमों के तले खाक को खा के मदीना में मिलाया मैं दो रे पैंबर में उठाया जाता काश मैं दो रे पैंबर में उठाया जाता Allahu 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 ये जमी जब न थी ये जहाँ जब न था चंद सूरज न थे आसमा जब न था राजे हक भी किसी पर आया जब न था राजे हक भी किसी पर आया जब न था जब न था कुछ यहाँ जब न था कुछ यहाँ था मगर तू ही तू अल्लाहु 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 Allahu 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 Chand taro ki shan e jamali me tu Sabz pato me phoolo ki lali me tu Khosh khosh e me tu bali bali me tu Tehni tehni me tu dali dali me tu बूटे बूटे में गुल बूटे बूटे में गुल गुल में बू बू में तू अल्लाहु 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 यूँ तो हर एक नबी तुझसे मंसूब है तेरा भेजा हुआ है बहुत खूब है हाँ मगर उनमें एक तेरा महबूब है जिसकी हर एक अदा तुझसे मरबूब है तेरा महबूब वो तेरा महबूब वो उसका महबूब तू अल्लाहु 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 Allahu, Allahu, Allahu. Khalid. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, just want to do a brief introduction before we go to our chief guest. Dr. Noor Kabani uh, was born in Beirut and he was raised by his parents, uh, Sayyid Sheikh Hisham Kabani and Naja Nazia Adil Kabani. Uh, Mulana Sheikh Hisham Kabani was the at that time the respective deputy of uh, Sayyid Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Makhan and uh, Haja Nazia was the uh, daughter of uh, Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Makhan who was chief uh, scholar of Hanfi Fiqa in Turkey and founder of the Naqshbandi Sufi order there. So at age 11, Dr. Nurgawani began attending his grandfather's lectures on Islamic sciences of Fiqa, Sharia, Aqida, Akhlaq. All, he also studied under uh, his father, a scholar of Shafi Fiqa and Ashariya Aqidah, with the special du'a of renounced Naqshbandi Sheikh Sayyid Abdullah Fayyad Awastani of Damashq. Uh, he became uh, proficient in Tafsir al-Quran, Tafsir al-Hadith, especially the doctrine of Ahl al-Sunnah wal Jama. He is fluent in Arabic, Turkish and English. He is also uh, MD. He acquired his uh, uh, MD in internal medicine from uh, Turkey and then later on went to the uh, United States and became an American citizen and completed his residency 
at the Columbia University of St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital. And uh, side by side, he has continued to uh, his Islamic education uh, uh, two or three months in Cyprus, where he studied deeper aspects of Islamic sciences under his noble grandfather, Sheikh Nazim Al-Khani. Dr. Noor Muhammad Kabani delivers important messages from the prophet, prophetic way and teachings from our grandmasters over the centuries for mankind to share love, tolerance, peace, unity, and compassion to each other as a way of life. This message is delivered by him from north to south, east to west, across the globe. So I'll ask him to please give his message to us today. Thank you. أستغفر الله العظيم وأتوب إليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم. This is the message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. Amen. How are you, Shaykh? Alhamdulillah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. الله الله Allah, 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 Aziz Allah, 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 يا سيدي ومولاي يا سيدي سلطان الأولياء القطب المتصل نظرك مدد حمدك يا سيدي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته ما شاء الله الله سبحانه وتعالى collects the beautiful hearts together I haven't seen so many people in one spot in London May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase the numbers of the lovers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We basically speak of the teachings of our Sheikh, Grand Sheikh, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, and Mawlana Sheikh Hisham, Hafizahullah. And my grandfather, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim al-Haqqani Qaddas Allah Surro, he has given lectures over the years. And these lectures have been put in books. And my father, Sheikh Hisham, Hisham Kabani, Hafizahullah, he said, take your grandfather's book and read. So that's what we do. The message that we deliver is basically the teachings of our grandchildren, of the awliyaullah, not my words. I don't have any knowledge to speak about. Our knowledge comes from theirs, comes from theirs. Grand Sheikh is saying, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, our teacher, is saying, Tuba, Tuba, liman tawajjah min ad dunya ila al mawla. Tuba, glad tidings to the ones that have directed their faces from this world to upper world. The ones that have turned their faces from the pleasures of this dunya to the pleasures of their Lord, Mawla. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to be pleased with us. He is waiting for us to show some deed that he would be pleased with, as he was pleased of Sahaba Ikram. Radiallahu anhu. Gretchen is saying, and I was reminded today by my uh, dear brother that we are getting older. We are getting older. He's saying if a man if a man lives hundred years or more. Now everybody, mashallah, wants to live 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. They're inventing all these uh, equipment and machinery and medical technology. Why? Because they want to live longer. Why do they want to live longer? Why? 
They want to stay in this world more because they have ruined their other world. They have built dunya. They don't want to go to a place that is harab, ruins. They have not built their akhirah. They have built mansions here, but they failed to build mansions in Jannah. So that's why they don't want to go to the other side. So they want to live 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. Even if they live 1 million years, Azrael will come. He will grab them from here. Come, sir. You are wanted. You say, oh no, Azrael, wait, wait, wait. I have to finish this job first. I have to launch my project first. I have to launch my product first. No, right away. They take you and go. So you live 100 years, 200 years, Grand Sheikh is saying. And all his life, this man only ate, drank, had fun, and went around this world looking at the pleasures of this world. Like they have these private jets now. You jump into the private jet and you go anywhere you want, if you're a billionaire. Or a millionaire, I don't know. But he ate, drank, and did nothing else. He never turned his face to Qibla. He never faced Qibla. That man that ate, drank, and made millions and billions, and saw the world, and went on beaches, and now they pay to go to International Space Station. Paid all that money, but he never turned his face to Qibla. Yeah, to Makar Mukarrama. Never one time said, I want to turn my face to my Lord. Uh, so many people are like that. So he says, what was the benefit of his life, this person? Nothing. He, his example was the example of a goat, of a cow, of an animal. Eat, drink, and go around. Isn't that what the animal does? You leave it, what does it do? It goes around. Can sometimes get lost, the shepherd have to go and get it. In our farm, our sheep gets lost. I don't know, we have somebody that follows them to get them. They, if, you leave, if you leave them, what do they do? They go around, eat and drink. And that is the example of a person that had never directed his face to Qibla. All he did during his life is make money, enjoy himself, eat, drink, do whatever he wants to do according to his pleasures and never wanted the pleasure of his Lord. Grand Sheikh is saying his example is the example of a sheep, of an animal, of a cow, of a goat, of a bull. Nothing. Has no value. So what is the benefit? What have you to reach in this life? What are you here for, oh human being? Grand Sheikh is continuing. You're not here to live 100 years and enjoy yourself. No. You're here, Mawlana Sheikh is saying, to light the fire of Muhabbatullah, Muhabbatu Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or Muhabbatul Awliya. You are here in this world to light the fire of the love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the fire of Rasulullah, of the love of Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the fire of Awliya Allah in your heart. That's what should work is here, all oh, human being. And alhamdulillah, with the na'at, you ignite that heart. You put that heart on fire with the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. With maulids, with zikr, that is what you're supposed to do, all oh, human being on earth. Come to the masjid, come to zikr, come to maulud, come to na'at, come to qasidas. Turn your face to Qibla, that's what you're supposed to do. Not, not, not like nowadays they tell people, dream. Dream of what? Dream of enjoying yourself. After that, you know when you're 50, you can't enjoy yourself anymore. You can't sit on the ground, oh, my knee is hurting, my back is hurting, I don't know what is hurting. <laughs> you can't even get in the car anymore. You eat something, you have to go to the bathroom very quickly. You cannot sleep, oh, I have a headache. And when you're over 50, you're finished. So now they say, dream, make the money, pay your taxes, pay, pay your dues, and then when you're 60 years old, you enjoy yourself. And what happens? 
they enjoy themselves 10 years in pain and in misery, and then they pack them up like they pack meat. They Now they burn them. They don't even deserve to be buried anymore. They burn them. We're done with you. And what happened to this man? Nothing. Finished. Finished. Grand Sheikh is saying, you are here, all human being, to ignite the fire of Muhabbatullah in your heart. Ignite the fire of Muhabbat Rasulullah in your heart. Dress these lights. When you are making sajda, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending lights, nur on you. When you are reciting Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending nur on you. When you are reciting the root sharif, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending nur on you. You have to dress these nurs. You have to dress these lights. Because you're going to stand up in front of your Lord one day. We believe in that, don't we? We believe in al yawm al-akhir. Last day. Judgment day. Resurrection day. Whatever you want to call it. Yawm al qiyam You stand up in front of your Lord. How do you stand up? Grand Sheikh is saying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, you're going to stand in front of me on a day. Yawm la yanfa'u malun wa la banoon. You're going to stand in front of me on a day that your money will not help you. Your children will not help you. They will be of no benefit to you. Nowadays, everybody is running after their children, their children, their children, their children. Politicians, not politicians. Everybody is worried about their children. Your children will not help you on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that says the truth. On that day, your children won't help you. Your money won't, won't help you. Your uh, torpil, they say in Turkish, means that your your uh, uh, means, you know. Now you say, please, could you speak to, to this man so he can lighten up the, the problem I have? Uh, well, I, I forgot what they say in Turkish. Farish? Reference. Reference. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Reference. We call it wheels. <laughs> Spin the wheels for me. Spin the wheels for me. I have done something really bad, but you know, you he's, he's your friend, the lawyer, the judge, the mayor, the president, whatever it is. Go please talk to him. Oh yes, I talk to him. On that day, your position won't help you. Your children won't help you. Money won't help you. On that day, only what helps you is your pure heart. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ سورة الشعراء Grand Sheikhs, they remind us of what's important. They don't tell you here, go run for office now. Nowadays, what do the Imams do? The shuyukh of the masjid? Let's run for office. I have been to so many places. Let's do a rally. Let's object. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's run for office. No, true sheikhs, they don't, they don't tell you run for office. True sheikhs, they say, come to the day of judgment with a pure heart. How do you purify your heart? What's in your heart? What's in your heart? Everything that makes your head turn is in your heart. What makes your head turn, sheikh? Oh, so many things. Even a donut makes your head turn. Oh, what a nice donut. <laughs> I'm not talking about other stuff. <laughs> a donut makes your head turn. That means you have love for that donut in your heart. And Astaghfirullah! Astaghfirullah al Abi. Grand Sheikh is saying you have to ignite the fire of love of Rasulullah in your heart for what? To burn all that garbage in your heart. The love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That fire, when it lights in your heart, you don't turn your head to anything anymore, except to Medina. That's the only thing I understood. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't know Urdu. It's made my heart become to Medina. Yes, yes. I don't know Urdu. Allah Shaykh inspired your heart, inspired to say what he is saying. That love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam will burn all that garbage, all that garbage that makes you love something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to come on the day of judgment with, with a clean heart. That means has nothing in it except love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger. And love of Salihin. Ahabbatu Salihin. Ahabbatu Awliya Allah. Our ulama, our awliya, our shiyukh. That is what is 
required in this world. Get that purity of your heart, Grand Sheikh is saying, وَيُحْرِقُ بِمَحَبَّةِ اللَّهِ حُبَّ الدُّنْيَا He will burn with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love of this world. When the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala settles here, you don't look to anything anymore. Finished. This world is done. It's not in your eyes. That's what Grand Sheikh is saying. That's what you need to do. Burn your heart with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love. With Mahabbatullah, Mahabbatul Rasul, or Mahabbatul Mashaykh. That's why we ask. Our teachers have advised us when you make dua, you make dua, Ya Rabbi, give me Mahabbatul Shaykh, the Mahabba of my Shaykh. You have to take a Shaykh. A true one, not a fake one. There are a lot of fake ones. A true one, a true Awliyaullah. Oh my Lord, give me the love of my Shaykh, the love of Grand Shaykhs, the love of Rasul, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the love of you, oh my Lord. That's the dua you we have to make. That's what we need to do here. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His love. Through the na'at, through Quran, through sitting with awliya Allah, through directing our face to qibla and praying. Two rak'ats, four rak'ats, whatever the first is. If you cannot pray the sunnah, at least do the first, get that burden off your shoulder. I'm, I cannot say that, astaghfirullah, because... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered what Rasulullah has shown you do. But nowadays we are so lazy, Shaykh. We are so lazy. We just want to do the farz and leave. But at least do something that will make that love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala settle in the heart. That's what you're supposed to do here. Oh, young ones. There are a lot of young ones. Old ones. Finished. Finished. But young ones, they're fresh. Set the love, put the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart so it can burn the love of this world that has nested in our hearts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our children, protect our spouses, protect our mothers and fathers, and give them peace and jannah if they have passed away, and give them shifa and strength if they are still alive. And make us, Ya Rabbi, from the ones that you love, from the ones that follow the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and do good work, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Rabbi, we are asking to meet you, Ya Rabbi, in a pure, with a pure heart. With a pure heart, not a disgraced heart, Ya Rabbi. Astaghfirullah. 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 Rabbi, wa atubu ilayh. Bi hurmat al-Habib, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa bi sirri surat al-Fatiha. So continue your nights. Put the love in the hearts of people. So we have five minutes to Maghrib? Yeah. So inshallah.